Trav, that was a tough one today. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, not being able to buy in, oh, not sorry, not buy in, but not being able to execute what we wanted to um, going into the game was, was frustrating. Um, and yeah, they're, they're a really good side and, and coming off the loss that they that they did, they brought the contest, they brought the pressure and they were able to um, win the ball um, and get it going forward for them. So yeah, frustrating game. Our efficiencies inside 50 seem to sum up our issues today. We won the inside 50s despite the 64-point uh, loss. Yeah, I think, and I think the way that they moved the ball out of there, um, it's one thing getting it inside and, and the next thing is where. Um, I think we probably had too shallow, sort of that 30 to 50 metre mark and um, they were able to rebound and take it down the other end. And um, when we were getting it in long, they were getting roll around from their wings to help them out. So um, frustrating and it just shows what the efficiency for them going inside 50 does and, um, and capitalising on your opportunities. What are the, some, some of the things we can do this week to address this before the derby? I don't think there's too much to change. I think in the first half it was a bit of the basics and we let, gave two 50 metre penalties away which didn't necessarily help the, the scoreboard. So for us it's, it's, not a, it's not any big changes. It's just continuing to, to execute what we want to do and, and get back to the basics. They, were, they showed us what um, clean hands and, and the ability to access the, the, the outside um, in the early part of the contest there. So um, for us moving forward, it's, it's probably learning what we, we did last time against West Coast and hopefully we can maintain that throughout four quarters. On a positive note, one of the highlights of today was Lloyd Meek's first AFL goal. It's been a long journey for him. Yeah, absolutely. I think I was pretty close to him when he kicked it and I had no idea. So I felt a little bit bad that I probably didn't get around him more, but it's been fantastic for him and um, to get his opportunity. And, to, and the last couple of weeks, he's been brilliant. And if we can get him and Sean working really well together, obviously Bruin on the team, it's a, it's a really it's a big strength for us. So it's yeah, brilliant for Lloyd and um, a highlight of a, of a not great day. Caleb Sarong again showed today that he's going to be a special player for us in the future. Yeah, absolutely. And you, you look at um, you look at Andy Brayshaw and him getting tagged today, and, and Caleb's making the next steps towards that. Um, and his work around the contest was brilliant. Um, and so he's someone that not only does the defensive work uh, really well, but now he's really using his legs and using his hands to access and get the ball going forward for us. So he's yeah, another really good step forward for Caleb. Speaking of defensive, he delivered five tackles today um, on a day where we really struggled to uphold that pressure. Um, it was important for him to contribute that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and our, we expect all players, um, but potentially our inside mids, when, um, to, be, to be getting those tackles and the efficiency of them. So um, it's one thing to tackle and then the other thing is to be able to hold it in or win the ball back. And that's what Caleb does for us in there. I know we're not really bad individuals, but three goals for yourself today. Um, obviously, you would have preferred the win, but good to have an impact. Yeah, absolutely. And um, just to be able to capitalise in front of the goal, my, uh, I've had a fair few games this year where I've sort of haven't kicked too straight. So it was nice to, to put them through the, uh, the tall sticks rather than the, uh, the short ones. And to, today's result uh, means that the RAC Derby is an absolute must win for us. How can we bounce back before next week? Yeah, I think regardless of it being um, West Coast, it's a super important game. We're from this week, even last week, we're in control of our destiny as to what the postseason looks like for us. And um, it's just a, it's a massive game and there's no shying away from that. And, and we won't be so during the week. It's just buttering up six days and just having a crack and putting it all out there because really that's all we've got um, and that'll, that'll define the season.